Okay, here is the rose hip jelly. It was, <laughs> it's quite a process for me. I only can make this once a year and it has to be in the fall. Um, rose hips are not that easy to find. I always find them in the Pacific Northwest. You have to wait after the, after the blossoms fall off of the rose bush and it leaves this little weird, you know, but, but you can see it in the video, a little round uh, the center. And um, I cook it, I cover it with water, and you cook them, you mash them down, and then you put them through a strainer. I, I use a cheesecloth because inside the little rose hip are tons of little hair-like um, I don't want to say splinters, but lots of little hair, little hair follicles, and you don't want to eat those. So um, I put it through a cheesecloth, and then after that, I put the juice back into the pan, and I add my sugar and my pectin. And um, it it makes this is all made a case. So with the pictures that I that you see in this video, it it made a case of this rose hip, and it is just. The most beautiful color and it's got a taste that I can't describe the taste it's very very um, uh, it's not it's not real strong it's a very light flavor and it's really good and I also set a few rose hips aside um, because I cook them later on in the winter when we get into the snow and I can't get out anywhere I do my lip balms and my salves and I make a rose hip um, not a lotion, but kind of like a salve, and I rub it on my hands and my face, and it really moisturizes your face. And if you have a chance, Google rose hips or how to make jelly or where to find the rose hips. Um, it's really interesting to read. But anyway, <clears throat> I had a video making the rose hip jelly, and somebody deleted it. Wasn't me, but somebody deleted it. And so I had to put together this video with just a few pictures that I had. Um, so if you have any questions, shoot me an email and um, I can give you better directions. Also, I think um, I think I might have another YouTube video on my channel for making rose hip jelly. So check that out too. I'm pretty sure I have another one. It's it's an older video. But uh, when you go to Prepper Pam, type in rose hip jelly. And after I put this on, hopefully two YouTubes, two videos will pop up. And you can see the full video. The first one I put on was a full video. This one here, it's just uh, a bunch of pictures cropped together. But um, anyway, so um, yeah, like I said, if you have any questions, shoot me an email. I... I have some spots now up in Oregon that I know exactly where to go and I don't tell anyone. A couple of the places that I found, they were already stripped clean. And um, they grow along, uh, a lot of, a lot of um, rose hip bushes grow along the ocean, you know, where the, where the sand meets the, the dirt, you know, and there's like kind of bogs and stuff. Um, once you see a rose hip, <clears throat> you'll never forget what it looks like. The very first time I found them, we were up at Port Townsend in Washington State, and I was picking them like crazy, and people were looking at me. They must have thought I was insane. Just they didn't have a clue what I was doing, and I was so excited. I didn't tell anyone. I hurried and ran back to our RV, and that's the first video that I made of the rose hip jelly. <clears throat> These, this batch here, I found in Oregon, and... Um, yeah, it was it was quite surprising, and it was a little scary because when I started picking them, they were entwined in blackberry bushes, and then inside those blackberry bushes was a little homeless camp. So my husband was with me, and he made sure everything was okay, and nothing happened, and I didn't disturb their camp or anything. But um, you know, this these rose hips are like gold to me. So once you have the flavor of it, you you really enjoy the flavor. It's very very mild flavor. So anyway, um, if you have any questions, shoot me an email, and have a cool day. Prepper Pam out.